it's Delina Fem here and in day 98 we're going to have some fun stretching our own canvas. Now what I've done to start off with is I've cut a piece of canvas that is a little bigger than the frame that I've got. Um, in this case I'm using a frame that was actually left over from a previous canvas that was damaged. Usually my husband makes my frames for me but I actually used a frame this time that I had damaged the canvas so I just pulled it off the frame. Now I've started out, like I say, with a piece of canvas that's a good sort of six or eight inches bigger than the frame on each side of it. And I've wet the canvas quite considerably. So, and I've wrung it out, so it's not dripping, dripping wet, but it's, it's nice and saturated. I then lay the frame on top of the canvas and I pull it nice and tight over in the middle. And then when I work in the corner, to staple it in the corner, as you can see, I'm pulling it really tight, as tight as I can go, but horizontally along the long side. I'm not pulling it necessarily down, I'm pulling it sideways. And then, you know, give it a, a good tight pull and staple it. And then turn the canvas around, do the same thing. Pull it down the middle, staple, and then into each corner and staple. Now that I've done those main staples and I've stretched the canvas a little bit along the long side, I can now really put some effort in, into putting the staples on the long side. Uh, as you can see, it's it's like serious effort. My knuckles, as I'm sitting at um, narrating this, my knuckles are so sore and my fingernails. It's not um, it's not for the faint-hearted, I don't think. I put the the staples are probably about five centimeters apart from one another. And the, you know the secret when you when you um, stretching your canvas is you you stretch like crazy and just when you think it's about a tear you stretch a little more. And the canvas can take a heck of a lot more stretching than what you might think it can. It's not going to tear that easily. Once I've done the two long sides with the anchor staples and um, and then the, the main staples to hold it all, I turn around and go to the short sides. Now I'm not worrying about the corners at this point. Um, the corners I'll come back and neaten up. Once I've finished stapling, I just cut off all the excess canvas. Again, ignoring the corners for the moment. I'll come back to those. Okay, now that I've cut off all the excess canvas, I just go and neaten up the corners. Staple in the corner, fold it over nice and neatly, and cut off the excess can canvas. It's like gift wrapping. Right, so that's the stretching part over. The canvas is now tight as a drum. And as it dries, because the canvas is wet, as it dries, it's going to shrink. That's why I do it wet. Because that will help to tighten it as well. And the added advantage of doing it wet is that I now start with working with the gesso. Gesso is an acrylic based water soluble um, canvas treatment that you would put on underneath either oil or acrylic paints. It is not the best thing to use. You know, when I was a kid, we used to use a plain old PVA acrylic um, paint and it doesn't have the kind of longevity that Gesso's got, but even Gesso doesn't have the kind of longevity that what the old masters used to use with um, when they used to use rabbit skin glue. They used to mix rabbit skin glue with titanium white oxide and that would be the equivalent of Gesso. Now, the alternative to using Gesso would be to mix 50% white PVA and 50% white wood glue. Uh, it works really well. Um, again, it doesn't have the kind of longevity that rabbit skin glue has got. But that's what's available to us at the moment without actually having rabbit skin glue. So I really am sort of putting a bit of pressure on the brush because I'm trying to get the paint right down into the fibers of the canvas and the fact that the canvas is wet is helping because the, the gesso is water soluble and giving it a nice even coating of gesso, trying not to have any areas that are thicker than any other. So I don't want to, yeah, it must be a nice, a nice good coating but not terribly thick. I still want the um, the weave of the canvas or the tooth of the canvas to be evident. Okay, then I'm just going in and painting the sides of the canvas just to make it nice and neat of course and, and it's going to have some paint there because that's how we neaten up our canvases by painting the edges so we therefore must gesso. Now gesso is quite important or some sort of coating on your canvas is important because the oil in your oil paints if you're using oils will eat away at the cotton over time and your canvas will deteriorate. The gesso is going to create a, um, a bond 
between your canvas and your paint and it's also going to seal your canvas and protect it from the destructive uh, chemicals or the destructive action of the paint itself. Once I've painted all four of the sides, I now go and hang the can canvas up somewhere to dry. I've just hung it up off camera and come back and uh, just wipe down my table because there's all bits of gesso all over my table now. Now that is not the end of it. There's two more things that have still got to happen. I'm going to get some gum tape now and cut lengths according to the length and breadth of the canvas. And then I saturate it in water of course because the water is going to make the gum sticky. I just run it through a glass of water or a, a tub of water and then turn it gum side down onto the wood. I then tuck the gum into the underneath of the wood so that it's really really nice and neat. Cut it off at the edges so that it's nice and square and then I will probably coat it with some sort of varnish um, at the stage of varnishing my painting but for the moment I don't do anything more and that really neatens it off really well. The other thing that um, still has to be done is tomorrow when the gesso is dry I'm going to have a look at the canvas and see how I feel about the tooth of the canvas. If I think that the gesso is not thick enough or that the tooth is too rough I will give it a bit of a sand with some uh, relatively roughish sandpaper and give it a second coat of gesso. And that's how you stretch a canvas. That's what you want to do.